James here. Today I'm going to look at an Animate Pro only tutorial. So sorry if anyone's just using the standard. This is just going to be about purely about Network View and some of my tips on how I work with it and just sort of showing you how to use the Network View in general as it's one of the most powerful parts of the tool set. So I've just drawn a couple of things here so that we have some drawing elements that we can play around with in Network View. You'll have a look if I go over. We have this giant mass sort of mess here. So to do this, you want your scripting menu up, which I think you can right click and one of these here is scripting and this will make your, all your scripting icons appear. You won't have as many as me because a fair few of these are ones that I've made, but you will have the network order up and network order down. And basically this allows you to order, your, order the network. I'm gonna use network order up and just pick the default settings and you can see that it's ordered everything. Basically, up works from the composite upwards and down works from your highest elements down. I tend to prefer how things come out with the up. Now, let's just have a look, quick look at what we've got here. Here are our drawing layers. These drawings here are the tra traffic light and these ones here are just sort of over the top colourful earring sort of thing. I don't really know what it is, I just made something that was overlapping. So this composite is where everything goes into and these the ordering of these nodes here depends on the order on how things appear in the scene. This display module, you'll see if I can flick over the camera here, if I break the display, all of a sudden nothing appears in your camera view. So this display module is what is actually showing everything into your display. So if your composite isn't connected to a display module, it's not going to appear in your camera. This write module is what's used to render out material. If you double click, or click on this yellow bit here, you'll be able to see here you have a series of settings and you can actually change these to output movies or output drawings and you can have multiple ones of these and then you can go up to file and export and use the render network and it will render all of those enabled write modules at the same time which can allow you to output in multiple like you can output all your drawings and a movie file at the same time which can be quite useful so now I'm going to go back over here I really want these three lights as a child of the actual frame of the camera, of the traffic light. So I'm going to, oops, let's drag them all together. And now you can see they've disappeared, which isn't what we want, but they are now a child. And so you know techniques by nudging and to get these lights in front, but you can also go over to the network view and let's reorder these. So you can simply just drag the node of your frame before all your lights. Now you can see over here the lights have appeared. I might just, I'll leave this one open over here and we can sort of play with some effects. Now the next thing I, use, I like to do, you have this module library that has all of your different modules. Now I like to make things so that they're just into one composite. So I go over here and I grab another composite module and this is going to be, let's rename it, and we'll call this composite traffic light. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of these and put them all over here. I now have a separate composite for these. And now I can just put it back. And now all of these lights go through this composite. So you can just arrange these how you like. And so now you'll see that this whole thing here is your traffic light out by itself. And it's all separate composite. Another thing you can do, which I like to tend to do, is I've got a character with a lot of things in the composite. And it's already you know, nicely set up. I'll rename this composite so like we'll settle on it being an earring even if it doesn't really look like one. 
and I'll grab myself. I'll, here it's not really that important because there's only three. But if you've got a character with like 20 of these going in, you don't want to be dragging them across like that. So I just make another composite. I break these two. And I'm going to stick this composite at the bottom. And this is going to be our scene composite. I'm going to connect these back up. And now you can just pull them in like this. And as you can see, this sort of makes the scene much easier to manage now. You can then, perhaps, you know, you can now see here that you could reorder the appearance of these rings individually and it makes it much more manageable. What you can also do is select these all and go up to Edit and you can go Group. You can group these selected layers and you can call it, say, Group. Earrings, and now you can see that all of these things from the earring are in here, and you can just expand it, and it'll pop in here, and you can see everything that's inside your earring. It's multi-port in and multi-port out, or automatically created by Toon Boom, and that basically encompasses your group. So yeah. That's how, and if you go down here, you can see on top, I've now, now inside this group, so I can just click top to get back over to here. So, now, I guess we should have a look at adding some effects, but I'll probably do that in the next part. So, I'll see you in the next part.